Hey everybody, Arco here, back bringing you some more random setting testing. I think this is game number 13, if I haven't lost track of the counter already. And for this one, we got a relatively normal game. We got a World Conquest progressive game. Very standard overall. Uh, progressive on World Conquest with blizzards and stable portals. No starting bots. So we finally rolled a full six player game. So let's see how this one plays out. We lose a two immediately. Fairly understandable. <laughs> we got a... Uh, got a decent amount of troops in North America. I doubt anybody will be able to go for a bonus without somebody freaking out here. But yeah, those were the settings. Uh, players are Virgil Sonata, Roberta the Lucky, General Mangal, <laughs> 17464, ourselves in the fourth position, uh, Shweno, and Audrey Damage. All right, what's a blue do on their turn? They hit a one. All right. So we aren't too, too spread out, honestly. Probably going to have to add to our two in Afghanistan. The white is looking to show up that way for some reason. We'll add one to this portal up here. One in Europe. And just in case White wants to go down that way, we won't add any more over there. We'll just make all of these what they are. <laughs> now, under a normal tournament setting, if I were to make this position here a four or higher, I wouldn't expect people to roll through it just to try and combine stacks, but we are in a ranked lobby with no filtering. So, <laughs> just erring on the side of caution as per usual. Those two players. Oh, four on two. For no real reason. They're maybe looking to fortify their four to their seven. Green player not doing their turn. What are the bots at? They're on neutral, okay. Oh, they are here. Are they getting an attack off? <laughs> they are, and they hit New Zealand. Interesting.
multiple attacks around the board. Hmm. And they surround blues five. Not the best move if they want them to move out, though. Blue bring that 10 stack back to possibly go for the bonus. No, they're leaving it. Okay. Alright, let's see if white rolls through here. They do indeed do so. Yeah, we'll try this. We'll create a... Uh, this is a very exaggerated three-position play I have going on here. Like player signaling, they want Europe. In a progressive game, green hits that portal. Are they coming into Australia? <laughs> that might be what they want. If that's the case, I may look to take my stack in Svalbard and head to Africa. Pink roll on the three on one and fails. Three on one against us succeeds. Yeah, as long as that portal there remains a one in Africa, that's might be what I do, and just in case Black decides to go a little crazy on us in Europe here. It's progressive games with all ranks of players are... <laughs> you don't know what people are going to hit early game to try and either hold bonuses or and or send a message one way or the other. Where does white move that eight? Into Asia. They look to be trying to combine stuff.
Ooh, we get a plus two on Congo. All right. It's the portal. Do they fortify either the four or two down to New Zealand, maybe? Oh, to Siam. Green and blue seem to be in a Cold War Australia standoff in the moment. Pink is still looking to take South America. And they trade in early to hit a five and four to do so. Okay. All right, dice so far. Do they realize they need to hit the four to take the bonus? They don't do it this turn. If they do hit the green four, green's ten is right there to do any sort of retaliation if they feel necessary. Blue is doing a single stack play. White and green are fairly spread out nicely. Take a card in NA. And fortify back to the center to keep our attack path options open. Black trades, gonna hit our five. <laughs> They're threatening to hit all of that. Green does not go for Australia, or I guess it's on this map, it's called Oceania. Yeah. And those are the same bonus values as Classic, but South America and Australia or Oceania are worth one more each due to the extra connections of the map. World Conquest. Pink still doesn't take over South America. Blue 
slowly move in their stack towards NA. is still a wild card of what they're going to do with their trade. White appears to be botting out, possibly. Hmm. All right, they card skip. Okay, enough dice, and we get a card on our both of our stacks here. I don't really mind if uh, Black takes Europe here because they traded in early as the fifth position. And the bonuses don't really matter at around this point in the progressive game. Doesn't fully take it yet. It's doing a very slow play towards it as if this were a fixed game. Green also doing a very slow play towards uh, towards Oceania. Blue's going to add all to their stack again. And let's see how much they hit. They end their turn. See if white ends up card skipping again. Definitely going to delay things a bit. They will be holding four cards.
Normally I want to trade three horses here, but I'm going to make use of the the two in Ontario while I still can. take out both of these and slowly line ourselves up on white possibly Black doesn't finish up here up this turn. I might not realize I need Svalbard, that portal at the very top. Green with the last trade here. As we still have the 15 to go, we don't have a trade this turn. They hold. Hold their bonus strong. Pink with another trade on three. Now they probably hit the the green four to take their bonus. Do indeed do so. White is offline. Blue still just hitting one territory at a time. Eh, not this turn. Felt important to remove the blue one in Africa. To reduce their chances of trading in on four and taking us out here. 
Like still doesn't go for Europe. Okay, green does not keep their stack in front of us. Blue does not trade in. Oh, and they're taking over NA. And they hit our stack. Interesting. How can we get there? I don't think we can. So we're definitely trading in. Pink put an 11 on that portal. Thirty-seven. I think we still have to go for it. and the trade up I think we'll just sit in northern Asia away from everybody and let the let them break us if we want we do have a trade thankfully Very interesting decision from Blue there. It would make a bit more sense if they traded in to do that, but they didn't. They break us. No, they leave us alone, okay. They defend against our one. We'll see if Green leaves us alone here. And this is, we do have a plus two, South Africa. 
does green kill us? They break Africa, or sorry, South America. They're slowly running out of time. As long as that doesn't hit our 31. Ah, it blocks us. We could go around, though. We can go around. Okay, our one is left alive at the bottom, that's huge. Take that path, unfortunately. There we go. That's another trade in here. They had a set on three again, Pink. My goodness. And then Black doesn't have a trade. So I think it'll be safe to eliminate Green here. Now we break the bonus. And we take over the whole board, and that should be the game. And we get the wild card on top of it. Yeah, thankfully, Pink didn't remove our South Africa position. Because that would have made all of that. Might not have made that possible. Alright, good games. We survived the stack hit from Blue. <laughs> My goodness. So yeah, prog with blizzards and portals on this map seems pretty good. I believe that might actually be one of the settings coming up for the Grandmasters tournament. Uh, I believe signups are still open when this is getting posted, so make sure to sign up if you're a Grandmaster or if you have achieved Grandmaster at least once in your risk career. But alright, uh, good games to our opponents. They were... Uh, novice, two beginners, and two intermediates. And we go from... We are at 26,400 and something, I believe, last time. We are now at 27,026. Going up in the FFA ranks. Alright. <laughs> Good games again to everybody. And until next time, take care and cheers for stopping by.